in this video i'm going to help you understand if nifty will break 16000 or not because that seems to be the biggest problem going on in most of our minds and if we thought nifty will become bullish after this bullish engulfing pattern even i expected uh, the market to rise and i thought the next resistance should be somewhere around 16800 and 16900 but the market seems to be reversing it has come down the uh, last trading session friday's trading session seemed to be very bearish it closed at 16200 and if you look at sgx nifty right now it is giving us the shock of our life because sgx nifty is currently trading around 16048 So in this video I'm going to analyze and tell you if Nifty will break 16000 or not when it opens on Monday will it be bullish if it opens with a gap down will it rise higher will the market rise higher or is it going to go down that's what we're going to be analyzing in this video friends welcome to my channel I'm Yamini Prabhu I'm a swing trading expert and NSE certified technical analyst and a certified derivatives trader So welcome to my channel welcome to this video let's have fun today I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something don't take for granted stay humble now we go It's not the first thing I want you to look at is this weekly chart of nifty and as you can see the nifty is already you know downtrend You can see that uh, Nifty is making lower highs and lower lows, indicating that there is a very strong downtrend that is going on. Nifty has reversed at this point at sixteen thousand seven hundred. So last week it formed a shooting star pattern, which is a very very bearish pattern. And um, I mean, this was two weeks ago, and last week there was a, I mean, there was a full on bearish Marubozu candle, and you can see how uh, you know there was a lot of of bullishness at 16500 expectation was to rise higher but the market pushed the prices so low we closed at 16200 and right now sgx nifty is around 16048 so our expectation is that when the market opens on monday definitely it should be opening somewhere around 16100 to 16000 so it should be opening somewhere around here and if it opens over here then the first the most ideal thing that can happen is that the market will definitely rise up to 16200 uh, most probably to fill the gap unless you know this is uh, some kind of a runaway gap or something like that which i don't think is possible so definitely the market will try to rise it will try to go to 16183 175 nifty touched these levels last uh, or friday when you know before it closed it closed somewhere between uh, 175 to 200 so definitely the market will try to rise unless this turns out to be an exhaustion gap if it's an exhaustion gap then we can see signs of reversal but friends as you know i have been uh, watching this and i don't think there will be an exhaustion gap so definitely the market will try to fill this gap and go uh, you know and then come start reversing so when it starts reversing you'll find a good opportunity to uh, sell on monday sell nifty on monday so that is a uh, one thing that you can do second thing is it will definitely help you a lot to keep a bearish point of view for the next few weeks also because uh, as you can see over here in the weekly time frame nifty is reversing and you can see that uh, you know uh, rsi is also entering into the bearish range and as soon as uh, rsi enters into the bearish range we will see that you know the market will tend to fall so this level of 60 15700 and 15500 these levels can act as very good supports you know at the bottom so my point is i i definitely think 16000 can be broken so let me tell you why i think 16000 can be easily broken so this is the uh, fii and dii data which i get in sensible this is only fii uh, index option data okay so you can see over here this is the call side what they have done in the call side 
so they have about 3 lakh and 29000 calls long calls and uh, they have about uh, 2.86 lakhs of uh, short calls so the long calls are more than short calls but if you see the number the difference is only about 43700 so this is the net long calls that the fiis are holding on to right now this is the open interest so these are the positions which are not yet closed right so this is puts uh, so if you look at the puts the long puts are 4.65 lakh long puts and short puts are 2.2 lakhs so the difference is 2.63 long puts are there in the market so when you have a long put your expectation is that so it means you have bought a put so the expectation is that you expect the market to go down and when you have a long call you expect the market to go up so on based on that if you see the difference between the calls and the puts is that the puts are very very high than the calls so definitely the fii's expectation as of june 10th is that the market is going to go down you can see this short term trend has been broken see it is on this basis that i did a small trade on uh, friday and i made a profit of about 6500 rupees so this is the short term uptrend that was going on on friday and uh, i i could see that this trend was uh, you know obviously broken so what i did was i took an entry in nifty i bought a put option and uh, i uh, made several entries and uh, you know i made a profit of 6500 rupees let uh, so i took ad advantage of the short term breakdown so i uh, uh, you know bought 16300 put option so it is on the same basis that i'm telling you that when the market opens or uh, even if there is a rise you can actually watch it in a short time frame like you know say 4 hours or something like that so that you can uh, look for reversals and you can make entries just like me i i'm expecting the market to definitely break 16000 if not on monday definitely on tuesday or wednesday we can expect the market to break 16000 so for this swing low to get over i'm sure the next uh, you know support should be around 15500 15700 so around fr from there on we can see some kind of a reversal but that is not you know uh, something that we can expect for a long term so for the long term i'm definitely bearish for the short term also i'm bearish for a medium term say we can uh, we can expect the market to rise okay guys i hope you like this video and i hope you find this video valuable so if you like this video hit the like and uh, let me know if you have any questions or doubts uh, in the comment box share this video with your friends if you like it and uh, thank you so much for watching have a great day i'll see you soon with another video on technical analysis and swing trading take care bye bye have a great day Thank mm -hmm. you.